What's up guys, today we're gonna be replacing the stock intercooler on the F30 today. And we're gonna be replacing it with a five inch intercooler from BRSF. And it should be a fun process. My dad and I are gonna do, be doing this for the first time. Hi. And then there's this car. But yeah, so first step we're gonna do is probably put the car on some blocks so we can get the jack under the front. And yeah, we'll probably head to that step first and yeah and then i'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of stock versus new and yeah now we're just going to chalk up the back of the car so it doesn't roll back when we put the jack under and start jacking it up we had to invent a little ramp because the jack still wouldn't fit under with one piece of wood so now we're just building this makeshift ramp somehow and making it work. Perfect. So now we had a add another two by four to make a nice little ramp to make it go up because the car is low. taking off the little screws eight millimeter screws these little ones minor shot but it's kind of what he's look, doing right look now. you're missing screw here here look at one is missing here yep and here but yeah we're just trying to get this off i need a smaller seven let's see if it works seven i don't know what happened it might be bigger, no? No. This one is for that one. For those screws that I took off. And those screws that I took off were one where I take that one off. Watch it. Your eyes. No, I know. I just want to see something. Oh, there it is. I see it. Alrighty, so he took out the intercooler, the stock one, and it's right here. So this is the stock one, really small compared to the five inch one from VRSF. And then this is from above how it looks. You can tell the big difference because this one's kind of stepped from here. And then this big thing in the back, but this one's really tiny and all damaged too. And then I need to buy a new one. It's all ripped. This is the little oil pan flap thing. And then if we look under. So we can see here how this is where the intercooler is supposed to go. And then the radiator's up here. But I do have aluminum charge uh, boost pipe and the charge pipe, which is also aluminum. So. It should fit pretty good with this new one going in. It should match really well. So we'll try and see if it goes in. Sorry for not recording, taking it out. It's just really tight down there. It's kind of impossible to show, but yeah. Okay. All right, I'm coming. Okay, let's see how this thing goes. It's heavy. How are you gonna fit down there? I know, just this way. And here goes the bottom part. This is a screw right here. And the other screw right there. The clip. See how the clip went on? And the clip went on right here. So it's solid. Doesn't move. Don't now we gotta put this back. And where it goes.
it's done. No, I think it's good. No? All everything's attached. I kind of went over a big puddle and then it broke off. But if you can see the belly is on. Uh the belly covers on. If you all the way back down here where the oil be changed, if you see I had to give it a little invention there. Uh, let me see if I can show you. And then what you're gonna do is open this and out. See, it opens and closes like this. I had to do that invention because um, that's how we got it so all right that's it uh, belly is on and everything is done we started the car and it sounds good everything is running fine nothing's been thrown up as far as codes or anything we're gonna go drive it to go see if there's any like leaks or anything which I doubt there'd be because it looked pretty tight when we put it on but yeah I'll take you guys on the drive over there or whatever we decide to do but that's about it all right so we're gonna do the first pull here with the new intercooler on and see how it goes Kind of slid there a little bit on uh, second gear traction turned on so it kind of cut power but i think power feels really good the temps are low which is a good sign because that means it's not going to heat soak as bad unless there's a lot of heat obviously right now it's raining and it's 44 outside so unless it's like summer I wouldn't know if this thing really works as good as it's advertised but so far it looks like it works and overall I'm happy um, I'll probably do an update video in the summer when it's actually hot but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys like the video and uh, I'll be doing more videos soon of doing more stuff to the car. So yeah, thank you guys.